Welcome back to Ecto 3D Printing. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to change the filament on the AnchorMake M5. And I kid you not, this is the amount of filament that was left after my latest print. So we're going to change out the roll to a brand new fresh roll of filament. So let's take a look at how to load and change filament on the AnchorMake M5. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go into control and extrude. And then it'll ask us to uh, lift the nozzle away. So we'll go to move and we'll go home. We need to home before we can move it because it has not homed itself since being turned on. So that one's home, then we need to home the Z axis as well. That way it knows where it's at and it'll know that it's not gonna run into anything. Okay, now that it's all homed, we can go up. We don't want to block the nozzle. To about there probably looks good. And then we can go back one page and then we'll go retract. So there's extrude and retract. We want to go retract. So it'll preheat the nozzle. It'll actually start uh, retracting on its own once it heats up. And we may even see this little piece uh, move a little bit. All right, the nozzle's almost up to temperature, and there it goes, it's trying to retract itself. So it did one run of retracting, and sure enough, this little piece has gotten longer. So we'll just run it again until we can pull it out. So I'll keep kind of tugging on it a little bit, and it'll hit retract again. And it'll heat up, and then once it's good, it will retract and I think it's far enough that we can just pull it all the way out. Cool, there we go. There's our last little bit of filament. Now when I first unloaded the filament, I was pushing the little button here, but you don't need to do that for retracting, you just need to do that for loading the filament. So now that we've got our last bit of filament out of the machine, Let's switch over and load up a new filament. So this next filament we're gonna be loading up is the Overture Silk Gray filament. This is not sponsored by Overture, but Overture, if you're watching somehow, reach, reach out, I love your filament. As you can tell, I've got a bunch of stuff printed out in the copper silk, which turned out really cool. But anywho, this is Overture Silk PLA Gray. So let's go ahead and crack this open. All right, so we've got our new roll of filament out, nice and shiny. Uh, the first thing we need to do is take it out of its little sleeve, and then we'll cut it at a 45 degree angle and make sure to hold it so it doesn't unreal itself. Then we'll stick this on our filament holder. Now that we have our new roll of filament up top, all we need to do is push it through the tube. It'll, it might get a little caught in here, so just Wiggle it around and keep pushing it until it goes through. And it should be easy to push all the way through. And then once it stops, you'll want to push down this little button here and then keep pushing the filament. So we'll do that. So push down the lever and push the filament until it stops. So mine didn't go too much further because there's probably some filament still in the nozzle um, or the hot end but it should be good now. So now we'll go ahead and hit extrude and it'll heat up again. And then it will uh, try and pull the filament. The driver puller motors aren't quite grabbing onto it. So we'll hit extrude again. We'll push the button and push the filament in a little bit until it grabs. And we'll just repeat that until we can get the direct drivers to grab on. All right, I couldn't get it to go in, so I'm gonna snip off the filament at a different angle, see if that'll help us at all. And we'll feed it back through the tube until it reaches the hot end. There we go. 
So we got it. It just took a little bit extra uh, trimming. I just had to trim it off at one more angle. And there we go. We have our silver silk coming out. So let's go a few more extrusions just to purge out all of the black that's left. And there we go. Our filament is all changed and we should be able to print our next color. All right, there we have it. How to unload and load filament into the Anchor Make M5. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I will be making more helpful videos like this one. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below or any ideas or suggestions for future videos, also leave them down there below the like button. And until the next video, catch you later.